All around the country, from Georgia to Oklahoma to California, confrontations in businesses between workers and people who don't want to wear masks have gone viral. No more masks! No more masks! Many of these instances were actually orchestrated to become an internet meme. And uh, we're about to go in the shop mask free. Look at our little kiddos. And many are in Southern California, which has become an epicenter for far right activism during the pandemic. You can say all you want. I do know in the end I have the right. I wanted to understand parts of the country that have played a leading role in the polarization that's tearing our society apart and the role that misinformation has played in it. So for the last six months, I've interviewed people from groups like Shop Mask Free Los Angeles, whose members purposefully go into stores across Southern California, not wearing masks, and demand that they be served on the grounds that they're being discriminated against. They are breaking the law, Constitutional Law, Civil Rights Act of 1964. Inevitably, a confrontation ensues, and hence, a viral moment. These activists also protested at a vaccine site at Dodger Stadium and other mass vaccination sites, which led to Dodgers being shut down temporarily. Southern California is a battleground. Leaders there were fired up by pandemic health restrictions, which they say is a restriction of liberty, and they liken to the oppressions of Nazi Germany, a comparison that has received outcries from Jewish groups. This is 1984 meets Nazi Germany meets Rosa Parks on steroids. The region represents the convergence of ties to Trump to the January 6th Capitol riots, and to long-standing state-level fights over school vaccinations. And these groups have managed to rack up wins. Last year, a county public health official resigned after facing death threats for wanting to enforce mask mandates, and her replacement scrapped the mandates. And in May, the county canceled plans for a voluntary digital vaccine passport app that businesses could use to check if their customers were vaccinated. Activists claimed that the vaccine passport would be mandatory. California Governor Gavin Newsom. We're not spiking the ball, but today is the day to celebrate. Since June 15th, California has reopened and the world is expected to go back to normal. But for this movement, the fight continues over potential school vaccination requirements and over mask mandates for the unvaccinated. Observers say that every fight is also about keeping the base fired up and building a political movement. That way people will be at the ready in the months ahead when a vote is expected for the recall of Governor Gavin Newsom and even in the years ahead, if and when former President Trump decides to run again.